Hello, this is Entropy. And this is Lucifera. And we are back again to discuss more things that we've observed of metaphysical things that we've observed in movies. For, first, before we begin, let me tell you that we have a friend of ours, Jeremy, who has his own channel here on YouTube called The Meek Geek Gab Show. And he has put up a couple of our reviews for uh, different movies. And um, he has many other reviews, and he often has guests on there discussing them. So check out his channel. We will be putting a link to his channel in the description box so check him out Jeremy at the meek geek gab show today we're going to talk about Superman and his sort of allegorical um, representation that he has to to us Lucy is a big fan of Superman and has been all of her life so uh, she uh, she actually came up herself with with this idea this allegorical idea that we will be discussing uh, first we will be discussing the Superman movie one of the less popular probably the least popular I don't know it one of the less popular Superman movies from back in the 80s uh, Superman 3 and it's allegorical meaning a but least part of of the movie in Superman 3 uh, Richard Pryor who plays the bad guy uh, hands over kryptonite to Superman and over time Superman becomes sick and just goes out of control and so uh, at some point in the movie he flies to a junkyard and um, and he fights with himself uh, as Clark Kent. A Superman, due to taking this kind of kryptonite, had sort of a Jekyll and Hyde where his sort of inner dark nature comes out. What we're discussing today, it has a much deeper allegorical um, meaning to us than just you know, someone fighting against their own inner demons, if you will. I believe that Superman 3 and his struggle with the dark half of himself not only is about the struggles we have against our inner selves, but also is a good allegory about how from the dark Abrahamic religions the true Superman will come. Having some roots in Abrahamism but realizing its truer light side, evolved, enlightened, God within nature. Everything starts with something. So we're not talking about Abrahamism per se any more than we are referring to, let's say, Cro-Magnon man who evolved into Homo sapien man. Lucy's idea here with the uh, Superman 3 and the dark nature of Superman that came out because he was given this uh, piece of kryptonite that represents the Abrahamic religions that is that darker thing and then out of it comes this new more powerful Superman as Clark Kent that um, that takes control and defeats his darker nature. This is sort of an evolutionary tale, and this is what we're talking about here. A sort of an evolution from these dark, sinister roots of Abrahamism into a new, this new man and this new religion, this new world, that has its roots in this darkness, but has converted 
and become this new evolutionary being, this new evolutionary age. That's where we're heading, this uh, age of Aquarius, if you want to call it that. In the corrupt form of Abrahamism, the I am is outside of you. In the new form, the I am is within. The corrupt demiurge, Enlil, Jehovah, was put in the place of the I am, dethroning the I am within you and becoming king over you. As the good Superman separates from the bad, so does Abrahamism or Israel, spiritual Israel. Um, those of you who recognize your spiritual nature and know who you are, are gods or Elohim. In the movie you see um, the, the new su or the good Superman separate from the bad. So, so does um, the quote, um, new Abrahamism separates from the corrupt Abrahamism. And so you have this uh, spiritual Israel, which are a new people. An evolution, an evolution of, of people that perhaps were in sort of a, a, a darker, um, less enlightened form now evolve into a more enlightened more aware, more spiritually aware, more in tune with the spirit form. And that is what's represented by the, not only the fact that um, Clark Kent beats Superman, but you see at the end of the scene, Clark Kent becomes this Superman, this, this super, ultra Superman, you might say because he's, he has evolved. You can see the evolution. He, he opens up his shirt and he's Superman again. It's not, just, it's not just the old Superman anymore. It's this new evolved Superman, this new evolved in this case, in the, the metaphor, the allegory that we're using, it is the new Abrahamic type from an Abrahamic um, seed but totally different and totally evolved, just like I said before, like the uh, cro man becoming a homo sapien. The world can't understand the esoteric. They look at religious texts and project everything outward, outwards. Uh, the world hates the light and loves darkness, ignorance. Uh, this new form of, quote, Abrahamism is no longer Abrahamism, but, uh, but is true Israel, the coming Christ, the Messianic Age. As we've said before, we, we don't look at this Christ necessarily as a historical figure. We look at it as something that is within all of us. And... We believe as Gnostics, that's what the Christ taught. Hey, I'm just like you. Hey, I've, I've become enlightened or spiritually evolved, if you want to look at it that way. And you can as well. So the, the term Messiah, uh, Messiah is a reference to a messianic age, a new golden age, an age of enlightenment. Collectively, we are the Messiah. The great revealing, I am that I am. And the whole Superman concept to begin with, the, the whole idea of a Superman, uh, you can look back at Nietzsche's work back in the, um, the late 1800s when he was writing, and the whole idea of this new evolved man, this ubermensch, this, this Superman that Nietzsche speaks about. So you, Superman as this comic book character is really this what we should be aspiring to be sure sure i don't i don't expect to be flying around or anything like that however the the concept of the better man 
the, the stronger man, the man that uh, is, has become more evolved through not, not through going you know into the, this, this antiquated ideas of the past and the antiquated ideas of religion, but, but finding that, uh, that, that Superman nature within, that Christ co uh, consciousness within and, and nurturing it and bringing it forward. It is time to evolve. The corrupt fall away from the old to the new, from homo sapien to homo superior, Superman or the Elohim. Now, when I mention Elohim, you know, you can look at it as, um, you know, there's some bad gods and good gods, but also another way of looking at it is, uh, like I was mentioning, the, um, the old ways, the Abrahamism of today, uh, you see this Elohim as either tyrannical or... Also illustrated within ourselves, our darker nature, and illustrated in, this, in the movie that we're referring to, uh, the Superman 3. It, the darker nature within us and conquering that dark, that darker nature so that we can evolve to our higher selves. So we're leaving the old Elohim behind and becoming the, the new Elohim, basically. Quoting Nietzsche here, For a tree to reach heaven with its branches, it must first touch hell with its roots. So you must be able to look in within yourself, be able to look yourself in the mirror, look at those parts of you that you know you would want to change, those demons inside of you, and learn to learn from those things and not conquer your darker side, but to transform it. Transform it into something new. Evolve. You, your darker side is always going to be a part of you, but you, you can't conquer it. But what you can do is learn to, to accept it, absorb it, and make you a stronger person because of it. I teach you the overman. Man is something that shall be overcome. What have you done to overcome him? Meaning, uh, what have you done to overcome your lower nature? Your, your other self. Here's uh, Nietzsche's prophecy. Uh, the coming elite would rule the world and from whom the Superman would spring. In the will to power, he exclaims, a daring and ruler race is building itself up. So do you want to be part of this quote-unquote ruling race, this ruling race? And we're not talking about, and you know, your, your racial construct, whatever your, you know, your, your background is racially. When he says the ruling race, he's referring to a spiritual understanding. And that, of course, transcends all, all races, all of these physical human races. We as a people here now are spearheading a new understanding, a new idea, and you cannot and you will not stop an idea whose time has come. We are all in a process of learning, we are all in a process of evolving, and we need to recognize that that is something that never stops, never stops. We continue in this life, in the next, that we continue to evolve and become these Ubermensch, these supermen of uh, ourselves. From caterpillar to butterfly. Exactly. So, we hope you enjoyed the video and we will be back again soon, we hope, uh, with something new and interesting. And uh, please check out our friend Jeremy, his channel. Uh, the channel, his YouTube channel. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll talk to you again soon. This is Entropy 666. And this is Lucifer. Signing off.